Hi, I'm agronomist Greg Phillips and welcome to my YouTube channel. Uh, I, have cha I have a whole lot of videos on fertilization, weed control, disease control, uh, how to put together a fungal program, how to control fungicides, how to apply uh, these products and how to calibrate the equipment you put it out, many, many more. Today, huge day. I am going to tell you something that is probably barring selection of seed the most important thing that you can do or you can know or you can apply to your yard that quite frankly is going to separate you from everybody else um <clears throat> and we're talking water management today we're not talking irrigation we're talking wetting agents and this is something that i used i was first exposed to back in the 90s at um one of the courses i was at pretty high-end golf course outside of raleigh north carolina in prestonwood country club um, we started using a product called um, Primer on the golf greens, and it was a night and day transition putting out a wetting agent on a putting green. And I'm going to explain, I'm going to get slightly geeky on you today because I do want you ex to understand what this does and what it is. And because as a homeowner, you've not been exposed to this that much, um, it's mostly been the professionals. Um, golf courses, particularly sports fields, those types of guys. And s people are spending a lot more time, a lot more effort, a lot more um, money <laughs> on their yards. And it's not that this stuff costs a whole lot. Um, I may go through a few prices in it, but um, this is the most important thing I can tell you. And most of you here, because you want the best yard on the block, well, this is one of the tools you're going to use in order to get there. Um, quite frankly, been doing this for 30 years. I have a weed, I can put, I can put a herbicide on it, in a week it's gone. Uh, fungicide, same thing. Fungicide, fung, 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 the fungus is gone. Um, I have an insect, insecticide, it's gone. Water, once when I get under, <laughs> once when I get under water with water, I'm in it for the long haul. You folks out west know exactly what I'm talking about. It's 2003, um, I've seen some just disastrous yards, but hopefully most of it's in summer dormancy. But a lot of you don't want to get into summer dormancy. This is how you're going to stay out of summer dormancy. If you want to. See my <laughs> heat and water management video and uh, drought video to, um, to get a little more on that. So anyway, wetting agents. Wetting, what happens, particularly when you get into the summer months, your soil develops what is called a hydrophobic condition. It is from primarily the organic matter. Most of it's the waxes, which are very complex molecules um, that do not break down as readily as the other tissues of the plant. Um, mostly the particular waxes, uh, a lot of the big stemmy, very complex carbon-based uh, molecules that are in the plant that take a long time to to break down. What they do is, is they accumulate on a soil surface. I'll do a thatch video here sometime soon because there's a lot of people crazy going nutty about thatch, but this is one of the drawbacks to thatch layer. Thatch layer, you need a little thatch layer, so don't go out and try to get all rid of all your thatch. But it is in the thatch layer. Why? Because that organic matter stays there. That's where the hydrophobic, that's where hydrophobic condition number one exists second hydrophobic condition where it exists, those waxes will actually coat the soil particles and make them hydrophobic. Now, how soils hold water is from the adhesive and cohesive forces of water. What do I mean by that? Okay, you have a raindrop. All right, that's why water, you always see it. It's, it's got some type of round shape. You have a raindrop, it's kind of shaped like that. You see it on a, on a surface, it's sort of like a bubble. That's the adhesive and cohesive force of the water at play. Soils have adhesive water, cohesive water, and gravitational water. Gravitational water, we don't count as plant available water because it, it is basically at saturation and it's gravitational. It goes away, it's not there. It is the cohesive water. The water that is attached to the water is what is plant available, okay? 
The adhesive water is what attaches to the, to the soil particle. The best way I can describe it is this. You dive in a pool during summer. You get out. You're all wet. What drips off you, if you were to stand there, is gravitational water. That's not plant available. Then you take a towel and towel yourself off. And put your towel down. That is the cohesive water. Okay? What's left on you? And you do. I'm still a little wet. But it doesn't come off. That's the adhesive water. It's actually not plant available. But that is, that is the... the the, 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 the physical properties of water. Now, what's that have to do with all this? Here we are. The organic matter repels water. It has a charge that actually repels the water. It's oil, uh, it's grease, it's, well not grease, it's, it's, it's a waxy material and that repels water. So in order for that water to penetrate now we're talking about that soil layer. That layer of thatch, that layer of organic material that will not allow the water to come through. Some of you have seen this. You've watered, you've watered the grass and the water just runs right off. Like you're, I don't know, like you're spraying a window. That is due to the co adhesive and cohesive force of the water and that wax will not penetrate. That, that, the holes aren't large enough for that for that water to get in there. The adhesives and cohesive forces are too strong. So, what a wetting agent does in, with the molecular particles, H2O, 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 a whole bunch of H2Os together. There's electrical charge between those two. Yeah, we're getting Mr. Mr. Wizard, but stick with me. What that wetting agent does, it lessens that bond between those two particles to where it will infiltrate into that organic waxy mat. It breaks down, doesn't all the way, but it just eases it just a little bit to where it can get into that soil, okay? That type of wetting agent is called a penetrant. It breaks down those adhesive forces of the water and allows it to penetrate into the soil, okay? So, attaches that bond, um, eases that bond, and in it goes. Then, there is a hydrant. You have penetrants, you have hydrants in uh, wetting agents. Those hydrants attach to that waxy organic material that is coated that soil particle. And I'll tell you how quickly these the, the, that can form. On a, if our USJ putting green, done a bunch of putting greens, uh, build them, whatever. Anyway. You put a brand new putting green in. You put a sand sand peat mix in. Not another <laughs> another another lecture for another day. But anyway, you have. I actually have a um, picture if I can get my um, on these soil particles. What you have is you have a soil particle, kind of crude, but okay. Shoot, sorry. I love these touchscreens sometimes. Soil particle looks about like this. And these are little pieces of organic material that have coated that soil particle. And what happens is the wetting agent comes in there and the hydrants attach to that organic material and attract the water so now it sticks to that soil particle. Okay? So it just, it just attaches itself to this organic matter and helps hold that water. Um, the other thing, and I kind of alluded to it, I drew the picture so I might as well show you. And some of you guys at West will go, oh, that's why. <laughs> uh, let me get out of here. We talk about that organic mat. Okay, so there it is. 
the water can't get into there. It runs off, right? This is called preferential flow. Okay? Water's going to go where it wants to go the least place it <laughs> at it's lazy. It wants to go the, le the the wants to take the easiest route, right? So what happens is sometimes you guys have localized dry spots and you'll see these are pretty big and then you have spots that are just green. It's like there's nothing wrong with the grass. What's what, what's going on there? What happens is it's preferential flow. These areas where you have the grass, let me get this in here, okay? These little grass spots, the water's actually penetrating there and getting to the roots and actually keeping that grass alive. So when you see a large area that has grass growing on it in these little spots, that's a spot of preferential flow. The wetting, the penetrants take all this away and it uniformly goes into the ground. Okay, so that's a penetrant. And this is what a hydrant solves. Okay, so a lot of these products used to be, when they first came out, they were usually penetrants. Then they started refining and making the hydrants. Um, I know there's a big one going around, and they do market to hom homeowners. Um, it's called Hydrotrain. Um, it seems to work for people. Uh, I, I just caution you on the ha cutting your water by 50% kind of thing. I, I, you know, I, I'd rather, it looked like, I looked on their website, I researched their, I have not used their product, but it seems like it works for people. Um, uh, uh, what they say on their website makes sense to me from a science standpoint. Not a bad product. Um, it is more of a hydrant. It, it does attract the dew and brings all that in. Um, and then there's another product that actually has just come out on a hose applicator um, that is a penetrant and a hydrant, which is good. A few that I have come across, I, when I was in golf courses, I dealt basically with two different companies. One was Aquatrols and the other one was Precision Labs. Aquatrols makes primer. If you want the Maserati, Lamborghini, whatever, <laughs> the, the, the Cadillac of, of wedding agents is primer, but you're going to pay for it. And it's going to be more than probably what you care to spend. But it is an outstanding wedding agent. That same company, Aquatrols, has, um, they have an Aqueduct Flux or Flex. Aqueduct Flex in a granular that can go out as a granular. Um, it is a combination product with hydrant and penetrant. Um, there's a dispatch in a spray if you want to spray it. Um, from Precision Labs, there's a Cascade Plus, which is a granular. This is an interesting product because I used the Cascade, just regular Cascade, on my putting greens. And the nice thing about it is it's... It, the Cascade gives you, in spray, gives you about 30 days on a putting green. The Cascade Plus is recommended for four to six weeks. Okay. Pardon me, four to six months. <laughs> four to six months once when you put it on. Um, I, yeah. So it is both a penetrant and a hydrant as well and a granular. The nice thing about it is about 109 bucks goes out at five pounds per thousand ballpark. It comes in a, one of them comes in a fertilizer that I found. It's in a three one zero fertilizer, but it goes out about every you know, covers you for for basically the entire summer season. Um, then they also have a precip granular product that you could also use. Um, That, I can tell you, is going to do more for your yard in any one of those. You might want to do a little bit more research, see what works for you, uh, see what the costs are, the availability are. I did look online and make sure that these are all available, and they are. Um, if by chance you can't find them, leave them in the comments. I'll try to find a distributor near you, um, if that's the case. Um, actually, you, what you could do is you could go ahead and, and work an account <laughs> in with one of these distributors that, is, that, that sells to golf courses. It's very easy. All you do is fill out a piece of paper, and they ship it to you. But these wedding agents, I tell you, if you haven't used them, 
Uh, they can also be used to help you out of summer dormancy. A lot of you folks out west, here's how I would, and I'll probably do a video on this. Um, right now, it's late, I mean, I'm getting to be late August. We're getting in past Labor Day. You could probably use one of these products, put it on your yard, water aggressively, because now you've overcome this hydrophobic condition and you're getting out of the heat. And it can get you out of summer dormancy sooner because you're more effectively watering. And really that's what your Bermuda grass guys, zoysia grass guys, that's what the problem has been, has been watering up so much heat, because that can generally take it. And this may get you out of summer dormancy. So anyway, that is wetting agents. And you know, those are some products that are out there to use. Um, and you know, if you have any questions on them, leave it in the comments. But this is this is a pretty pretty interesting product that probably this might be the first time you've heard of it. And I can tell you, they work. So I hope this is helpful. Um, please like and subscribe. And you know, it does help the channel a lot. And my my name is Greg Phillips. Thanks.